Good time, and welcome to another figure review. Today we're going to have a look at the Figma Girls and Panzer Team Anku set. I'm finally doing this. I'm finally doing this. I had this set standing around for like a year or something, but I was always dreading this review because this is like five figures in one. And if you're wondering why the box is kind of smashed and why there's nothing around it, is because that's how I bought it on mandarakemandarake.com um, at a pretty hefty discount. I think this was like 7,000 yen. This whole package is the price of a new Figma. How about that? Let's have a look at it. Guys, remember, if you like this kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button for more cute and hot figure reviews. It's time to have a look at the sizes. Now, from what I can tell, these two have about the, the same size. These two are the smallest. Then you have these two, and she is towering over every... Well, towering. She's taller than everybody else. So, for a little one, 11 and a half centimeters. Uh, I don't know the name. What was it again? Mako? I think this is Mako Raizai. This is 4.3 inches tall. I'm gonna chalk her up as the same. I'm not gonna do every single one of them. Also, they're falling over. This one stands at about 12 and a half, almost 13 centimeters for Yukari. And uh, she's just a little shy of 5 inches. Finally, for Hana. The biggest one, we're standing at 13 centimeters, a little over it, if you're going to the tippy top of her hair, which gets her 5 inches. Size comparisons. Here's Jalter, the Bandai Salamander's intercessor, and Darkseid. So I'm gonna do this two by two, because they are mostly the same in the sculpt, in the body sculpt that is, but there are some small differences. And first up, I have Yukari over here and Miho. I do have a cheap sheet on the side with the names on it. I put the pictures, like crappy little drawings of the heads. So I know who's who because I never, I'm so bad with Japanese names. So, first and foremost, I gotta look at the face sculpts and hair sculpts for Yukari. I, def I definitely dig the shorter hair um, because it's a bit more detailed than some of the other ones. Have some small strains going down. And her eyes overall seems a little bit more rounded than everybody else. And she has a nice warm smile. Now for Miho, you have just some hair going, the short hair that just goes straight down. And they all have the symbol also in the back, I don't know what it means, but it looks funny. Now she has a more, a little bit more rectangular eyes, but still it looks great on there. And there's also one thing that already stands out, the paint job. You have some bleeding on some colors and other colors look a little bit better. That is, that's really like a fun thing to look at it side by side because some of them definitely came out better than others. Now, for the torso, here's like the thing. They all have different chest sizes and I feel like for these two in particular, it's mostly the same. You have like a medium chest and down to the skirt, which uh, does seem to me like it's going also a little bit in a different direction sometimes. And since we are here, guys, it's Pansu time. Panzo looks mostly the same, even though this one looks a little bit more rounded, goes up a little bit higher, if I'm not tripping. And we're going down to the boots. They have the socks just a little bit under the knees. That's another thing that changes from figure to figure. And you have a nice little zipper on the boot, which is fairly nicely painted. Now, for the next couple, I'm gonna have Mako and Hana, the smallest one and the tallest one. That's really like one thing where, well, the leg size is differentiating, but let's start off with face up once more. Have the blue eyes. She looks like the oldest of the bunch. She looks a little bit motherly, and uh, I don't know why, but just like the face, it really speaks to me like that, and the hair. It's pretty dynamic. It's going in a bunch of different directions. I like how it goes to this side and has some strains sticking out. And in the back, you have some more detail on there. And yes, there is the first sightings of a larger chest. As such, the buttons are also moving around a little bit more. But let me get back real quick to Marco. I want to have a look at that face. That is my favorite face. This just bored, annoyed look on it. Love it. Five out of five. This is like, you know, it's those faces that really have some personality to it. Now the hair really wraps around the face, has some bigger strains, and also in the back. Well, they both have the long or dark hair, so I also group them up because of that. Hair bond has some bleeding in there, unfortunately, but I guess the collar looks clean, and they also have all, all of them have a symbol in the back, even though you can't really tell with these ones. So obviously, size-wise, I, I still feel like the torso looks pretty much 
from the length looks pretty much the same to me. Obviously, you have a bigger chest area, but if you think flat is justice, Mako is definitely your girl. Now, it's sponsor time. Yes, do it. I'm gonna do this every time. Same thing, just like, well, she also has some more cheeks. There's some more cheeks on her. Well, well played over there. And for the first time, we have a little bit of a difference in the socks, which uh, Mako seems to have them rolled up a little bit. And uh, Hana has the same as the other two, which we previously had. And then finally, big booby girl. <laughs> it's uh, Saori, I think. So she has more rectangular eyes once more and fairly bushy eyebrows, which I think is cool. It's funny looking. Has more light brown hair, which uh, it's a bit curled up on tips in the lower half. Some more bleeding in the collar, unfortunately. And yes, the biggest, the biggest boobies. Or it's like, they're almost like the same. I think they're a bit bigger. Well, the buttons are also adjusted in a different way. So I guess I'm, I'm giving it to those ones. And also she has the stockings, which unfortunately have some bleeding over there. But final puns of time. It's actually not the final puns of time, I lied. There's some more where that came from, but um, man, puns overload on this video. Like for puns overload, guys. If you enjoy puns overload, you gotta hit it up with a like, all right? Deal. Finally, the boots, same thing, just with the zip on there. And there you go, that's the look of all of them. Now for your articulation, it really doesn't matter which one I pick, so I'm just sticking with Saori. Well, it's really gonna differentiate uh, based on the hairstyle, how much movement you're gonna get out of the head. Let me turn on this light as well, also. Now, forward motion, backward motion, not really much, and also not tilting side to side. Well, actually, you know what? Backward motion? Actually, even not really going much more with that, because the hair also blocking it. Forward does tilt side to side. And it does go all the way around. Yeah, this is much easier actually with the short hair, obviously. Then you have the uh, double ball combination in the chest area. You have one ball in the chest, can move that around. And you have a ball hinge on the shoulder itself. So that moves up and down. Bring it back, forward, and pretty nice and nimble. Big ball hinge in the elbow and a hinge in the fist. That is the note of an old Figma. Newer Figmas have a ball hinge, but older ones just have this ugly hinge connected to the hand. The entire torso area moves around, but be very, very careful because it is one of the dreaded see-through ball joints. If this is stuck, it might break off very easily. But that is a thing, it is a feature actually that you can replace the lower half of the body, which we'll have a look at once we get to the articulation. But do have some wiggle motion. Again, do not stress it. It is a see-through ball joint and it does swivel all the way around. The leg moves forward and it moves out to the side. The skirt is cut up on both sides over here so it does not get into the way. Also goes to the back. Rotation on the thigh. Ball hinge in the knee standard stuff and another ball hinge at the foot so you can bring that up and down and does tilt side to side oh so slightly. So here are the accessories and uh, I got it Mix, I got it like this, I presented it like this, so you guys know who gets what and I know who gets what because they all have individual hands. <gasps> oh, when I saw that I kind of I kind of died inside a little bit because there's so much stuff. So let me see, uh, for, uh, what was it now, Yukari, she's number one. There's also this like label for the back, so you got like the number one in there. She gets some open hands with some gloves and some open hands without a glove. And one that has, uh, where was the one with the pack? There was also one with the pack. You have one with the pack in there. And there's some more hanging out over here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh god, oh man. Two holy hands, an open hand, and one kind of to push, push something away. And then down here you got the shell, which has some nice gold on there. Very shiny, and a hole in the back. So I guess that's, you know, to push it in, in the tank, if you maneuver. If you gotta keep up with the tank, and then you have a different skirt for each and every one of them, which uh, two of them don't have a ponsu. Somebody kept the ponsu. Yes, this is pre-owned. I don't, I don't even know. I'm not really mad at it, but yeah, I have the skirt without the ponsu, and we also have a face for Yukari as she drops down. We really like an energetic. Let's go, guys! Face. I guess that's the best way I can describe it. I guess Yukari fell to the back because she's ashamed that she doesn't have a ponzu in her sitting uh, in her sitting skirt. Now the hands for uh, Meiko Mako 
got the open hands, two big, very big open, uh, holding hands. One kind of straight, one pointy finger, and two posing hands, like really weird grabbing hands. <clears throat> Obviously all of them also come with the Figma base. Here's the other face for Mako, kind of like a sleepy face or a dreamy face. Her faces are actually exquisite. She also comes with a skirt, which does have some ponzu in there, and she also has a book, which is perfect. That's probably one of the hands that's holding for that's to hold the book, which uh, says PZ4 Feeble. Feeble. <laughs> that's hilarious, and it looks great. Doesn't have any writing in it, but that looks so fun. Has even more extra hands. Uh, why? Why me? Two holding hands while open, not really holding, that's also for the binoculars I guess. Holding hands, open posing hands, and more like, what is even this? Probably more holding hands, and then you even have these two bonus hands in here. One pointy finger and one more open one, and the rest of it is for the base. So she does come with a headphone hat, which uh, the three last of them have all of that accessory. You, you just uh, swap out the front part of her hair. And put this one on so you can have some headphones and here are the binoculars i like how they uh really have a shiny look at the front it really looks like there's glass in there that's a cool effect also it's like a real rope kind of hanging around and we have this tiny tiny accessory which i don't even know what it is i can't hold it in my hands because it's so small let me know in the comments if you know what that's for if it's just an armband or whatever i don't know she also has a skirt without pantsu again damn it Saori, this one, for hands, open hands, holding hands, peace sign, and to one grabby hand and like another open hand, and also one more pointy finger still in the packaging. I <clears throat> don't want to take all this out because it's already driving me nuts. She also has another headphone head for the hair. This actually is an entire head actually wrapping around. Not just the front of it, but also the back of it, which is kind of weird, but... I guess they just engineered it like that, so you gotta you gotta roll with it. She also has another tiny armband in there, just like this one I just showed you. I'm not, I'm not gonna fumble around with that. There's another uh, skirt with a pantsu in it, and she also has a phone. Nice red phone, shiny, connected to the hands. That's what I really like. I uh, don't like fumbling around with the phone. And uh, I don't think you can take it out now that's connected. It has some green in the back. Also, I forgot the face for Miho. She has kind of like a little bit of a yelling face. That's uh, that's this character for. Just to remind you of that, I almost forgot about the face. Cause there's so much stuff in here. I'm drowning in it. <laughs> that's why I uh, uh, just this review. And we got a smiley face for Saori. Just like yeah, so much stuff. And then also you got a sleepy face. Just so I don't forget for Hana. Hana Izuzu. You got that one. And for her, she also has a headphone part, which uh, this one actually is metallic on side. It looks way better than the other one. And my camera is actually running out of juice. That's what I get for doing these long reviews. And she also has hands. Let me see if I can get that done. There's the hands. She got holding hands. One where the finger is kind of more stretched. And then there's uh, more posing hands. And she doesn't have extra hands. You got the base. Got another one of these small tiny armbands which I already have here, here and here. So you have three of those in total. And again, a skirt with a pantsu. And there's the accessories. Took me 10 minutes to film. Ugh. Well and here we are with the whole squad. I could not put them on the spinny thing. Because obviously there's not enough room on there. Final thoughts for this girls und panzer 5 pack. Well. At first I didn't really go into this with much expectations, again, I picked it up at a fairly reasonable price, well actually very good price. So looking at it I was just like, mm, it's five times the same character, which it is for the most part, but the absolute value out of it. And let me tell you, the thing that blew my mind the most is the fact that they all had a bunch of accessories. I did not expect every single character to come with their own set of hands. Like, usually with big packs like that, multi-packs, they usually share hands. And they could have done this oh so easily for this one in particular because they all have the same hands. But they didn't. So really going the extra mile and really adding quite a lot of accessories for still a big pack is really impressive to me. So, overall, what does that mean? 
if you can find this at a good price, I will highly recommend it because I think they really went the extra mile. They didn't cut anything. They weren't like, well, this is a five pack. We don't need to do so much. Sure, it's a little less accessories than your regular Figma would have, but it's still quite a lot. So, I do recommend this one if you can still find it. You usually have to browse Man Rick Army Army. Um, that's, the, that's the addresses I would send you to if you're looking for this, but, you know, gotta be patient and have some luck to find it. That's gonna do it, guys. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more reviews, card game stuff, and whatever girls and panzer want.